Hello friends, I am Rahul and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new video, we will see what are Ansible roles. Let's start with the video. Let's see what are Ansible roles. Ansible roles are used to automatically load the Ansible artifacts like tasks, handlers, variable and files in a known structure. The structure of the role is very well defined in Ansible and the role is easy to create and reusable. In other language, we break the playbook into multiple files. Because of the multiple files, role makes the complex playbook simple and easy to reuse. As we saw in the last slide that the role has a standard structure, let's see the structure. Ansible role has 8 standard directories we can create in the role. It is not mandatory to have all the directories in a role, but it is mandatory to have at least one directory inside the role. It includes task, handlers, library, files, templates, vars, defaults and meta. Default directory where we create a role is slash etc slash ansible slash roles. Inside this directory, we can create multiple roles as per our requirement. As shown in the image, we have few playbooks like web server or site. And we have two roles, one is common and the other one is web servers. Let's see the standard directories in ansible role. There are eight standard directories that we can use. These directories are tasks, handlers, library, files, templates, vars, defaults and meta. As we have seen earlier, it is not mandatory to have all the directories in the role but we should have at least one directory present in the role. Let's see the directories one by one. The first directory is task. In this directory, we have a file called main.yaml in which we mention the action which we want to perform on the managed node. We can mention multiple tasks in the main.yaml file. The next directory is handlers. Handlers are used to perform repeated actions like restarting service. We don't have to write the same code again. Instead, we can create handlers to perform the action. The next directory is library. This directory is used to provide custom modules or plugins to the role. There is no main YAML file in this directory. The next directory is files. In this directory, we keep the files that we deploy through the playbook like an agent or a configuration file. The next directory is templates. In this directory, we keep the Jinja2 templates which actually help us to record the output in a specific format. The next directory is defaults. In this directory, we keep the default variables that are used in the playbook. The last directory is meta. In this directory, the metadata of the role is stored along with the role dependencies. Let's see how to create Ansible role. We can create a role using Ansible galaxy init command. We need to run the following command Ansible hyphen galaxy init and then we have to mention the role name. This command will create the basic structure of the Ansible role. It creates the 8 directories which we have seen in the last slide. Let's see how to use Ansible roles. We can mention the role in the playbook under roles section. As shown in the image, we have added common and web servers roles under roles section. Let's see the demo. Let's go to slash etc slash ansible slash roles and we'll check if the roles directory is already present or not. Access the directory and we'll check if any existing role is present. So no role is present. We will create a new role using the ansible-galaxy init command. Role name will be a web server.
The role is ready. Let's see the directories created inside the web server directory. Check the directories, defaults, files, handlers. In the file directory, we store the file which we deploy using the playbook. Meta, readme file, tasks, templates, tests. In templates, we store the Jinja2 templates. We will see the templates in the upcoming videos. The last directory is vars. Let's check by running the tree command. We have to add our tasks in the main.yaml file under the task directory. Let's open the file. Here we will mention the task. The first task is to install the HTTPD server and the next is to start the HTTPD service. Let's create a playbook. Go to the main directory. We will create a file as webserver.yaml. We will use become parameter. So the playbook will be run with elevated privileges. We will add the role under roles section. Let's save the file and run the Ansible playbook. wrong password. Let's uh, rerun it. Now it worked. Let's check the service. It is running. Let's check the curl output. It is also working fine. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel to watch more Ansible related videos.